Hello and welcome! My name is Ajax Post and this is Train Fever episode number four. Uh, you may recall in the previous episode we connected Gisborough, uh, passenger wise uh, at least, uh, a nice little internal network and also a route out to uh, well, one of our first towns, Tainmouth there. And as you can see, it's doing reasonably well in terms of passengers. Certainly the, um, if I don't click on a person but actually click on the <laughs> On the station, we can see there's a fair and um, a fair number of people uh, already running up there. I have actually gone on a couple of years um, since the last episode. It, for one thing, I'm trying to, to work out the the goods issue here, and I'll come back to that in a moment. But the main focus, which I had wanted to do actually in the episode, but never actually got the time to complete, was setting up another cargo route. Um, this time uh, around Fakenham from a uh, iron ore producer here, Thatcher Mine, to our steel mill here, and sending the goods into town. Now, I had awful trouble, and that's why it's taken me a couple of years, but as you can see here, I'm actually, 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 actually <laughs> literally, actually, practically, uh, making a fair amount of money. My income is, uh, well, this last year has been 1.24, but previously was 1.5 million, which is a nice tidy sum. Uh, the problem I had was that the route I had going here, um, you can just about see it here, I had initially set the cargo to go down here. Uh, is that a cargo stop? Uh, I think it is, yeah. And it, I actually got no traffic whatsoever, all the goods just kept on sailing down uh, this other route um, and ignored my trucks altogether. But it seems, I don't know if the uh, land use will highlight this, yeah, I think the problem was is that all the businesses that required the industrial and the commercial that required the goods were over here. So having me send them down here to this side of town, um, the game realised, the town realised was stupid. Uh, so it wanted to send all the traffic down here. So I eventually relented and have sent the goods in there. And that line, uh, which one is it? It's uh, <laughs> Can I find it again? Um, is it, it? It is that one, I think, isn't it? Yeah, Faken and Mill Mill Goods uh, is. Oh, it's still losing money. Oh. <laughs> well, at least it's moving now. I am actually getting. Uh, that's the goods in, um, and that's the goods out. Hopefully that's good out because please tell me it's picking up goods. Oh, there are some goods going. Now what I've done here, I actually did it on the oil route uh, over around Gisborough. Um, is I set up two cargo stations, uh, one for goods in and one for goods out. I probably don't need to do that. It was a desperate attempt to try and get that oil station all the way over here working, um, and it's still not worked. Um, over there, I'm still getting very low production. So what I think, I was watching some other videos and doing a little bit more research into some of the game mechanics, and I think the problem I have here is that I'm not sending enough goods out from here to my destination. So I've only got one cargo route, I think if I turn this on, um, sending stuff down to Gisborough. But there's actually goods traffic going to Banbury. Now if I can harness that as well, so there's actually more demand here for goods, then that will demand more from the supply, the oil supply. So I should then get more coming from the oil well, so excuse me, running around the map here rather haphazardly, um, should get more coming from here. So these trucks here, all just waiting to collect oil, should pick up. And I did say, I think at some point in the last episode, uh, the production had increased to nine or something. Um, in fact, it had gone down. At the game, start of the game, I think it was a ten. Um, so my attempts to collect oil <laughs> but entirely fruitless. So what I'm going to do in this game, I think, is sort out this goods issue here, uh, get another goods route going from here to Banbury, which should then sort of start bringing uh, business and demand here for both passenger and goods traffic in Banbury 
then add that into the traffic, the passenger traffic here. What I can also do, seeing as we've actually got a fair number of passengers waiting here, the transport between these two towns, and they are quite close, and it's a reasonably flat route, I think, is actually bringing my first train. Um, as you can see, I'm being reasonably profitable at the moment. Uh, I've got a fairly healthy balance of 620k. Uh, I've got a very small loan, only 400k. So I've got lots of room to borrow money if I need it. Um, so that, that should work quite well. So I think the first thing to do is move to Banbury, get ourselves a cargo station down here, and uh, start moving some goods around. Okay, so the thing to do, where about shall we stick our, uh, our goods depot? Actually, what we might do, because if you see, the most of the goods requirements will be here. So coming in this route, through the residences, the residential areas, would be rather pointless. And in fact, I think if I cut a route through from here, that would be shorter. So that should again encourage the goods traffic to want to take my trucks and come into town. So let's do that. Okay. Uh, I'm still going to leave them there waiting to, <laughs> to pick up goods. I mean, the production there is pitiful. Five. That, that is horrific, isn't it? Okay, let's get me a road. Um, I'm still going to go cheap. Um, I, I, I've seen a lot of people uh, playing this game, uh, taking a more expensive route uh, and sort of spending money up front. That, I, that kind of that doesn't work for me very often um, because it's not the kind of person I am. Um, but maybe I should be. Maybe I should be more adventurous and spend money. So maybe this game will encourage me to do that. Look, look at that. Losing money hand over fist. Right, okay, let's get this uh, these trucks moving. So that's, that's oh <laughs> no, I do not want a sodding great uh, excuse the French uh, bridge over there. That that's that's plain silly. I mean it's only 142k, but no. <laughs> okay, so is there any sort of contouring here? Oh yeah, look at those contour lines going up. So, oops, let's, uh, I mean that's, that's staying flat, but I don't think that's, that's too important for road traffic, 265, oh heck, alright. Hang on, hang on. So if I go out here, see, it's quite expensive. Well, if that's a hundred. Let's, let's, okay, let's take that. The other, the other reason I don't particularly like doing long stretches is it's, if you come to want to delete them, it deletes the whole stretch. I think there is a way around that. Uh, I've seen some people do. Uh, by putting a, a small intersection or T-junction in or adjoining road somewhere so it sort of breaks up that route. Well, that's, that's not bad, actually. That's uh, slightly more attractive. Okay, so that's the route I want them to take. And I want a cargo station. Uh, this is going to be it's going to be coming in. So I think we can use a small one. Um, where should we put it? We can put it here. That's, that's, that is really nice and cheap, isn't it? Yep, that's what we'll do. Okay. So we've got lots of trucks here waiting and doing nothing. So I think what I'll do is just create myself a new line. Actually, what's this called? Something I've been doing uh, while I was off camera, as it were, is naming my stations. Uh, that's actually fine. So they're sort of more or less. Um, they, they fit more with the sort of the style I want and um, naming conventions that I'm going to adopt, like Banbury Refinery Goods Inn. Um, so I'm using those sort of names. Oh, I'm still making money. Look at that. 107 minutes. Sorry. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, I do that. I just get distracted. I see something shiny. Ooh, shiny, shiny! <laughs> oh, I'll be quiet now. I'll um, <laughs> get on with the game. <laughs> right. Okay, so we're going to take from there. Uh, that's going to be good now. And we're going to go there. And this is going to be... I'm going to call it Banbury Petrol. Because that's a oil refinery, isn't it? So that's what we'll call that. Okay, so how many of these trucks here? Oops. Let's get that out of the way. So we'll make you... Can I highlight you? Oh, no, I'm still in creating a line, aren't I? Bother. <laughs> oh, sometimes I wish I could just pay attention to what I'm doing. Right. Uh, so there's Gisborough, that's Gisborough. We'll leave you two. And we'll make you change your line to Banbury Petrol. And also, oh, where are you going? And so you to Banbury Petrol. Oh, I know why that is, isn't it? I'll set it to, uh, to not require full load. Hang on, what's... Oh, I've totally messed it up, haven't I? <laughs> That's an idiot. Who let him loose? All right, let's add the station I want them to, to deliver it to, shall I? That might make more sense. Oops, right. Okay, I was obviously not paying attention when I was deleting stuff. Right. Okay. So, right. What we have here is this depot here should be eight. I think that's a small. That is an increase on five, isn't it? So I might set you to that line as well. Okay. So if I look at the lines again, we've got uh, Gisborough Petrol. Okay, there's four on there, five on Banbury. That, that'll do. Where are they all going? Oh! He's delivering! Okay, let's just look at the cargo again now. Right, that cargo gone down there, but we see that one coming in. Now, I believe on these sort of multi wharf or multi whatever these things are stands, uh, each of these stands can represent a separate line. Because uh, I believe, and again from, from watching other people's uh, videos, that there's a maximum limit you can have in one of these cargo stations. Of around 20, 25, something like that. Um, and that actually applies to each of these stands here uh, on the larger uh, cargo depot. It's not depot, that's a depot. Uh, station. Can I call them that? Ah, this is looking much better. Not quite sure which truck they're filling up, but as long as the cargo is coming into here, I should start making money. That's good. Okay. Uh, look at that, you see the oil well production has gone up already to 12 from what it was at 9 earlier. Excellent. Right, oh, I'm feeling a lot happier now. Look at that. 161. I'm making my. The thing is, these inter town passenger routes are incredibly pro profitable at the moment. Oh, not as profitable as that, perhaps. Um, oh, they are. Look at that. that uh, that's in those two. 424k, 222k. That's the new route. That's very impressive. Okay, that line. I have no idea what that was there for. That was a mistake earlier. Oh, this is looking better. Right, now, passengers, can I get a train route? What I will try and do, I set out in one of the earlier episodes, these sort of marker points for where I'd like to put the station. Uh, so I laid out these roads here. So, let's make use of that, shall we? Right, 
So if we attach a, well, what we can do is we can have these roads join up here, I think. The station, we should go across that, okay. Right. Uh, I want a rail, a rail. And we're going to stick a station in here. Ooh. We'll have three. What if I go long? Oops. What we can do is we can have the goods coming in on one side and the passengers uh, on the other two. Does that make sense? Or through trains? Something like that. So if we stick that there. Okay. Just put some rail down. Oh, that's nice and fast, isn't it? 75. Splendid. And just make sure we've got all that. We'll take you across as well. Actually, do we want them to join? I will join up a, a bit. Not enough space we got about. Ow, ow. Why? <laughs> Sometimes this, this game can be ow, very frustrating. In, uh, it's obviously got an issue with. Uh, I think it's with the angle. And if I draw this track in, I can do that there. Can I then? That's too too curvy. That's a pain. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, if I don't have those lines there, maybe I can draw this one on its own. Yeah, yes. Oh, yeah. Actually, I probably do want it to join there, don't I? Yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. Okay. And can you... <laughs> no! Ah! Uh, not enough space! You're ridiculous! Oh, 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 dear. oh, sorry. I'm, I'm... Right. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Okay. I've lost control of my mouse. Um, that's, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh, at least it wasn't millions. I'm not losing millions, at least. So that's something. <laughs> right. right, now, can I build you there? Right. And then put in a short bit of rail. Thank you, in there. Right, and can I then build... It really doesn't like that angle, does it? Shall I try and do, if I try and delete that bit of line, is it? No, I'm going to do that line. That's good. Right. So if I draw a line, to there. Okay. Can I then move you? Aha. station will be somewhat easier. Now the question is, I've laid, I've sort of put space out here for the station. Now, do I want it to go around, or do I want it to go here? You know what? I think I, I will put it here. It's not going anywhere in this direction. So it can just go off and go off in that direction, and we can do it like that. So I think that's what I'll do. 
So let's get me a little bit of road. Down here to attach it to. Right. Okay, if we do that, what we could do is have the, the road going off. No, not, not like that. Nor like that. A bit like that. That's better. Have <laughs> oh uh, we seen anyone quite so cack at it? <laughs> right. Oh, I'm not sure I can attach a station to that. Being curvy. Um, I'll upgrade this bit of road here as well. So it uh, all fits in with that styly. Okay, uh, station and do a three track. We only have a two track. And look at that, you see, you've got the, um, the end of the station. It's going down a bit. Not too happy on that. What we could do, perhaps, a bit straighter. Oh, not quite sure where those two trucks came from, but okay. It's on, it's on a bit of a gradient, that. Yeah, where's it going? It's going all the way up there. Okay, well, let's, let's get this uh, one of these tracks coming down from here. Uh, so that's, that's a good track, which we'll leave that one for the moment. to be. And we want to cut in. If we cut close to this building here, the, uh, the steel mill. I think that's what that is. Right, let's get this thing built anyway. As best we can. That's fine. Take you over there. Road traffic will stop. straight and level which I think is important for trains certainly at the early part of the game when they're quite slow and underpowered all right so it's not actually joining up is it no oh, that joins up uh, do I want it to go there um I don't think it really matters too much does it <laughs> um Okay, let's see what that looks like. And I can draw a double track out of there. That's fine. That, oh, I'm running out of money now. I think it's quite handy to, to double track. To make sure you've got the space and the room when you want to actually run two or more trains on, on the line. I don't want to spend too much on that. We'll do that up to there. And there. Okay. Now, I dare say, I'm not going to have enough money at this point to pay for a train, so I might have to take out a loan, but let's, uh... Oh, yeah! Oh, uh, that looks like a new passenger vehicle, perhaps, for the trains. That's very handy. How much money did I make? 
Ooh, losing money hand over fist. My income, though, is going up very nicely. 1.76 1 million last year. That's a good result. Okay. Right, so we'll put a depot in. Where should we stick our depots? Uh, actually, what we could do is stick it on the end of the line. So this line, this... Uh, nothing else is going to be beyond that, so I don't think I'm going to have room to stick a depot. Not really, no. <laughs> Let's just stick that there. And another one. Stick that, put that there, and the depot on the end. That's nice. And why have I done that? So I can have, depending on where I want them to go, I can run those. That'll do nicely. Okay. I mean, you don't want to be speeding out of a depot, do you? Certainly not as you come to a to a crossing, so that that's fine. Okay, and in the depot here, <coughs> by a train. So let's just pause this for a second while we look at the trains we've got. Uh, Twenty-five, eight. I don't not quite sure what all these figures mean. To be honest, I should, but I don't know. This one goes faster. It's a bit more expensive. Uh, it costs somewhat more for a year to run, but it is more powerful faster. Yep, let's let's go for that. So we'll buy one of you. Uh, what are our passengers? We've got six in there. Eight in there. That's the new one we got this year. Should we go with the latest tech? I think we should. So how many of those should we buy? Uh, one, two, and I can afford three. Okay, that's cool. Um, and I'm not Run out of money yet either. That is excellent. Right. So let's set up our line. A new passenger line running from Tamworth. Oh, just got the name. To Gisborough. And we'll call this one. Uh, Tainmouth, and I can't spell, to Gisborough, R1, being a railway. Have I spelled that correctly? Probably. Uh, okay, that is excellent. Now the slight problem we have at the moment is that uh, if I actually set that running, are you going to... Uh, To leave the depot? Why has it not left the depot? Oh, have I actually assigned it to that line? No. <laughs> there it goes. Okay, we don't actually have any way for passengers. Well, they could walk up there actually. What I would like to do is have a simple bus route take them from there to there. So that's what we will do those that can't walk. So they've got an internal route here, which will take them around town to the main bus hub. So let's stick a... Oh, which way around does it go? Uh, it's that way, isn't it? I think. So, can we, in fact... What we could do, I think, is have on the return where their stop nine is actually stop go there. That's what we'll do, I think, rather than adding a whole new line. That is the result. And we need the same thing in Gisborough. I see this road isn't joined up at all. <laughs> so let's get that done. Not that. I'll take you. Thank you. And. 
we'll leave you two just going nowhere. To you there. And we'll actually upgrade you. That's it. Okay, splendid. So where's my Gisbra bus routes? And where's number six on the route? That's five. Where was his last stop? <laughs> so he starts. Oh, there's six. Oh, so he's coming around that way. Actually, what we could do. Ooh, this is a bit more complicated. Actually, I think we do want that road there, don't we? Oh, we can do. Splendid. What we could do is have him come up. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do. We'll add. Oh, we need a bus stop, don't we? A bus stop in there. That's fine. And we'll add that. Right, so. <clears throat> How the hell's that going? I've com totally confused that. That's in the wrong place. I want it there. Right, yep, so it comes out of the main bus station here, goes to the station, Park Avenue, then School Lane, and then around the rest of the town. That is nice. So, how's our train doing? No passengers. Well, we didn't expect any, to be honest, and I'm still in profit. All road vehicle 8. Right, I'll deal with that. Uh, off camera. So you're going to pull into the station. Uh, let me just get you back in view. I don't think there's going to be anybody here just yet. The buses haven't come around. Okay, let's just check the other end and then we'll bring the game to a, to a halt. So there's nobody waiting there. Okay, right, well we'll leave this here for now. We'll keep it, I'll just keep a quick eye on this and make sure uh, the thing is working properly. And we'll see you uh, in uh, about a week's time for the next episode of Train Fever. My name's Ajax Post. Thank you so much for joining me uh, on this episode. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you want to make a comment, uh, tell me where I'm going wrong or what, what I should be doing. Any advice or, or suggestions would be most welcome. Uh, please do leave a comment. And if you've not already done so, it'd be great to have you subscribing to, to the channel uh, to follow on for my, uh, for my future videos uh, of Train Fever. And also, as you may have noticed in the channel, uh, The Sims 3. So until next time, from Ajax Post, bye for now.